peace. My name is Mr. Rubbish Beer Review Man. Today I will be reviewing a beer. Today's beer is Miller Genuine Draft. Okay. Now you may notice it's actually a very small bottle. It comes in at 300 mils. So it's less than a sort of standard can, say of Coca-Cola, Sprite, Fanta, you name it. Okay. Now, uh, it comes in at 4.3% on the Richter scale. And judging from the look of it, it's kind of pretty light coloured. Okay. And for those who don't know, it's a very standard American beer. Um, I'm expecting it to be quite sort of tasteless and watery kind of thing. Uh, but you never know, it may surprise me, but I'm sure it won't. Um, it also says, don't drink and drive, which is very, very good advice. Don't drink and drive. Okay. Um, I'm going to open the beer. Just before I open it, I'm going to say a quick few words in Russian to some of my Russian subscribers. So what they would repeat, Miller genuine draft. Это по просьбе. Да, мне сказали, что кто-то хотел, чтобы я пробовал этот Миллер или Корона. Ну все, вот я выбрал Миллер. Okay, guys. So um, I'm going to pour the beer out. Look at that, look at the pour. Look at the pour. Now it should fit in easily because it's only 300 mils. And the glass is pretty small anyway, but... Oh, okay. That's quite a nice pour actually, isn't it? Okay, just must add, I bought this for one euro. Special offer. Off license across the road. Okay, give it a quick smell. You know, it doesn't actually smell too bad. It's the kind of sort of drink you want after a day's work, like I've just had, you know, just something nice and easy, refreshing. Um, you know, nothing that's kind of off the scale in terms of taste, just a pretty standard beer. Let's taste it and see what I think of it. Nice sort of crisp feel going on there. Golden taste. Bit of corn. Um, you know, I think because I had a day's work, probably this sort of beer um, is going to get a higher rating than what I might give it on, say, a weekend. Just because I'm in the mood for a beer. It's got more taste to it actually than what I thought it would. I thought it'd be kind of one of those sort of what they call ice beer type tastes, where it's just kind of very cold, but lacking any sort of substantial taste. I'd say that's not the case with this. Uh, there's a bit going on here. Just to give you an idea of what I can taste. in there. It's like metallic taste. Lemony kind of. I'd say it's quite lemony in a way, kind of citrusy. Um, and yeah, it's a good refreshing beer. I mean, uh, you know, it is just a mill, let's face it. It's not, not, you know, the world's best, nothing special by any means. But, you know, I quite, I quite like it. At least today after work I do anyway. So I think I'm going to give it a fairly high mark for the Miller. Let's give it another go. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not going to break any sort of records, but I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. There'll be some of you sitting there thinking, oh, what's he doing, giving a, a Miller an 8 out of 10? But it's all right. I quite, I quite enjoy it. It's pretty tasty. 
Um, definitely more taste than I expected. It's an 8 out of 10 for the Miller Genuine Draft. I'll be back with you in just a minute when I just find out a little bit more about the beer and see what other people think. Hey friends, I'm back again. Um, I'm quite surprised. It had, well, on rate beer, it's got a zero rating. It's incredible, really. The only thing I would say, it says it's a 4.7% ABV, but my bottle is definitely a 4.3%. But anyway, uh, let's just see what people think. Obviously not they think very much of it, if it's got a 0 out of 10. Um, somebody says it's got cardboard grass water, some hops, flavour malt water, some hops. Easy to find, it's from a big multinational brewer that churns out cheap beer by the tank. Okay. Um, the taste is almost not there. Yeah, I, I disagree with that. The only distinguishable one being overly sweet, strange, malty hoppiness. No, I don't think so. Um, plain American beer with no specific character. Uh, really cold on a summer, summer's day, it's enjoyable as a first quencher. No remarkable taste or aroma, but still refreshing. A beer that could be extremely, so it's an extremely smooth taste, but no complexity or true bitterness. I don't know, I think they're being a bit harsher, especially, look at this one. Drink, drank from bottle, because it's not worth dirtying a glass. Whew. It's a generic, big, multinational brewery lager. That's it. I used to like this when I was a bar star. Memories. So yeah, really low rating from people here. I don't know, I really don't think it's that bad. Um, I can sometimes be a bit harsh on the kind of big multinational beers, breweries, but I think this is all right. Eight out of ten. In Russian, Vosin is deseti. Nie plochoi pira, nie plochoi. Vkusni. Okay, guys. So thank you for watching. See you again for another rubbish beer review.